Hey guys, I am back. I did not post last week because I was away for a family vacation. The Brazo fam went to Victoria. So that's on Vancouver Island, which is not where the city of Vancouver is. Vancouver is on the mainland, but then there's Vancouver Island and there's Victoria and we were in that area. And in all my years of living here, I have not been to the island until now. So it's pretty shameful. <laughs> Oh, really? So instead of doing this video as like the start of the studio vlog, I'm gonna do it as a separate haul video just because it's kind of long. So this is just a haul and I'll have my usual studio vlog on Friday. So I've got a, a big ticket item out front here to show you first, which is this. It was our last day there and I wanted to hit up Antique Row because there were some antique shops and I was hoping more of them had actual furniture. There really only was one that did. And then there was a second one that did, but they were closed. Like not just closed that day, but it, you know, on Google Maps it says closed temporarily. And I looked in the window and I saw these chairs I loved, but <laughs> there were even two staff members in the back and I was like, let me in. <laughs> so yeah, I have this pitcher, this wine jug, whatever you want to call it. It's from the mid 1800s. It's unglazed porcelain and it features little cherubs and grapes. That's why I'm assuming they used it for wine. It's also got some dark staining on the inside. You probably can't really tell. It just looks dark in there because it's the inside. And it's a little dirty, especially around the handle right now. I do need to give it a clean, but it's just so gorgeous. I saw this and I just couldn't stop thinking about it. And so that was my antique find for the day. <laughs> the brand name is hard to see, but if you just turn on your phone flashlight and hold it at an angle, like not straight down, but just like at, a, at the side angle, you can see it says Copeland. So I was trying to do some research on this thing, but I really cannot find much about it, except that it's from the 1850s. I found like three pictures of it and two of them are from the same website and that's all I can find. But isn't that gorgeous? Such a gorgeous decorative piece. Oh. I should wait till I'm in the new house before I start buying stuff for it, but I was really hoping to find a chair or a small table because we did drive to the island and so I could bring something back in my car, but that was the biggest thing I found that I wanted. There are a couple other little things. It's in one of these paper bundles. Oh, this is not it. <laughs> wait, where is it then? It better not have gotten thrown away. You know, it just looks like a little bundle of tissue. There's a little plate and a little shoe, little Limoges miniatures. Well, I guess I was <laughs> for the antique stores then. The very first thing I bought on the trip was this, which I got at a Thrifty Foods. Little succulent baby. And it's grown since I've gotten it. I still need to put it in a pot, but. Please don't die. Well, in one of these rolled up papers, I have a couple little thimbles. These are just touristy items. You can find them at tons of tourist shops. They're covered in stickers right now. Oh my God, I'm like sweaty. I was freezing cold earlier, so I changed my outfit to be one that has a sweater. So I was like t-shirt and long skirt earlier. Now I'm all sweaty. Okay, yeah, but they're, they're just uh, little Victoria souvenirs. Yeah. <laughs> and this one still has some sticker on it, but that's what this one looks like. I have two lollipops that are from a candy store and I bought these as decorations because they could be good photo props for things like store product images, assuming it suits the product, but they were just so adorable. I had to grab them for props. Now there was a store called Nooks or The Nooks. Pretty much local artists can rent out shelves in the store to put their products on. And if their products sell, they get 100% of the money because the way the store makes money is through the rental of the shelf. So I got a couple things. I don't have the packaging for this one anymore, like the backing card on it because it was like a big postcard size one, but this is a gingerbread mermaid enamel pin. It's huge. And this is by Maxine Art. Here's the back. And oh my God, so many of these were so gorgeous. I wanted all of them, but it was just too much money to get too many of them. So I uh, I got this one just because I love the color scheme a lot and she's cute, cute. I mean, they're all cute, but this one caught my attention the most. <gasps> no, 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 I found them, I found them, I found them. Oh my God, okay. I didn't know they were in this box because this box was in this box, but I moved the minis into here. Oh, crisis averted. Okay, so yeah, there are these little Limoges minis. So there's this little shoe. This is the one I wanted the most, but they were two for $10. So I was like, well, let's get a second one. 
so just adorable little shoe and then this plate and it's funny because we went to a different antique store after and they had this plate but it was a bit bigger it was like about this tall and so I was like hey I just bought the mini version of that it even has its own little stand and everything it's so cute so that could look cute as part of a display on a shelf I don't know they're they're pretty small but it's just too cute too cute now what's actually in this one is a gold chain this was at a buy and sell oh there's something else in there too this is from a buy and sell gold place it was technically part of the antique row but I've been wanting a longer gold chain because I recently got one that is I think a 16 inch chain that I can put pendants on and I wanted a longer one so this is a 20 inch chain and this is what it looks like and it was a steal of a deal like I spent less than half of what I did on the 16 inch chain because I'm, I'm like it's, I'm assuming everything in there second hand because it's like a buy and sell place and so steal of a deal here's the whole thing oh, so shiny I wanted like a really dainty one and this one looks all sparkly and it's adorable Kiki's looking at it no it's not a toy and it was perfect because I have this cheap tarnished chain that this is essentially replacing and I was wearing that chain that day so I could get it measured and figure it out. Now this next one it was in the Bay Center which is a mall and after seeing all the cool shops in downtown Victoria I was like do I want to go to a regular mall but I thought maybe they have a cool store in there and they did they had another one with like a bunch of local artist stuff in it and so I got this it's by T Tree Drops. Handmade in Tofino it says May Shapiro on the bottom and so it's a little piece of wood, a little cross section of a branch or small tree. And then they have flattened plants inside of it. And then it's covered in what I assume is resin. Isn't that adorable? <laughs> Just some cottagecore too, so yeah. That was that, I picked that one up. I have, oh, Kiki's kind of on it, sorry baby. I have this sweater which I got from Style Coast in Sydney. So it's a, it's a sweater but it has a cowl neck, which is really cool. And it's a very thin fabric. I love thin sweaters. So it was just nice. Very, very nice. I love it all around. Oh yeah, that, uh, that gold place gave me a free fridge magnet. <laughs> free little magnet with every purchase. It's a gold bar. I peeled off the sticker on the side that had their info on it and now it's all grimy so oop. I'll have to clean that off so in Sydney there was this store called the haunted bookshop and as soon as I saw it I was like "Ooh, we're going in there and that's probably the store I spent the longest time in and I barely got to see anything in the store like I could easily have spent a full extra hour there we weren't, we weren't there for an hour but like oh, so many interesting books like old books or just weird ones about like ghosts witches vampires there's there's all kinds of stuff and they had a kids book section and so i picked up some beatrix potter books i've never read any of these and i've never been a big fan of hers but as i've gotten into cottagecore stuff it's like she's like the cottagecore illustrator so i figured i'd pick up some of these these are not particularly special editions of the book because these were printed in the late 80s but they're just so cute this one's in rough shape but it's peter rabbit it's the first one it's the most iconic one so i had to grab it it was three dollars so whatever but look at this cute look at these illustrations adorable so i got peter rabbit tom kitten flopsy bunnies timmy tiptoes and then the tailor of Gloucester? I don't know how to say that. Please forgive me. Please forgive me. This one's a soft cover just because they didn't have this one as a hard cover. Look at those. Aww. So cute. <laughs> so had to grab those. And then I got another book there, which I've never heard of. Did it have this white thing on there or did I get that on there? It's The Egoist by George Meredith. I grabbed it because I saw the spine and thought that looked so cute. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. The actual book color is this, so the spine must have faded. Although I kind of like the faded color better, that pea green color. It's just such a beautiful book though. It would be a good decoration or good for a prop for photos again. Don't focus on my face. Look at this, and the spine, so pretty. And I would have loved to look for more stuff like this there. We we're kind of running out of time because we had to be somewhere for a reservation, but ugh. There was also an art store there and I don't exactly need more art supplies. 
but I was taking a peek anyway and I figured I would grab some small liner brushes just because the little brushes are the easiest to damage and so I always need replacements and currently all mine are in really rough shape so I picked up two. I would have liked one with longer bristles but the ones they had with longer bristles were also thicker so yeah I just got these two. Is that everything? I mean we bought something for Peter since he was cat sitting but I don't know if I want to spoil what it is on here. I mean he's probably not watching. You know what let me just go get it. Oh they did take the price tag off or do it did. Yes. Yes, okay, good, good, it's pretty expensive. But this thing's hefty. It's a pepper grinder. Woo, 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 isn't that gorgeous? Peter really likes to cook. He probably already has some kind of fancy pepper grinder, but this one's just really cool. Oh my God, I just realized I forgot to show something because I'm wearing it. I have to bust out my phone because I need to see the little card to get the artist's name. Okay, the earrings are by Howling Dog Artisan Jewelry, handmade in BC. I can insert a picture, but I'll also try to show you IRL. Well, this is not IRL, but there's a little gemstone and there are these two rings up top that are actually free floating. They're not attached. And then the base is a little hex. Isn't that cute? Adorable. So that was also from Nooks. Nooks was probably my favorite. I, I had to resist temptation to buy so many things in that store. Like, oh, amazing stuff. So me thinks that's everything other than like food items. So I guess that's it for this video, this haul video. I'll have this studio vlog on Friday. So <laughs> see you Friday. <laughs>